According to the newly proposed budget, the U.S. Air Force intends to retire almost 30 F-22 Raptor stealth fighter aircraft in fiscal 2023 in order to concentrate on its next-generation air dominance NGAD program. The service plans to retire 33 of its oldest F-22s in total. These jets are reportedly solely used for training and are no longer combat ready. Major General James Petcha, the Air Force's Deputy Assistant Secretary for Budget, estimates that preparing these F-22s for battle will cost an absurdly high $1.8 billion over an eight-year period. As a result, the USAF made the decision to use those funds for NGAD program research on cutting-edge combat jet designs. The requested budget would also increase by $9 billion, including funds for NGAD. In the upcoming years, this sixth-generation fighter aircraft will take the position of the F-22 Raptor fleet. According to Andrew Hunter, the USAF's top acquisition official, if 33 Block 20 F-22A Raptors remain in service, the U.S. Air Force will be left with fewer resources and manpower to support its underdevelopment B-21 Raider bomber, hypersonic weapons, and wingman drones for its next-generation air dominance. NGAD Fighter Hunter's comments come amid congressional opposition to the USAF's plan to retire 33 F-22 Raptor stealth jets. The F-22 Raptor is the best pure air superiority fighter in the world, with unmatched stealth and extraordinary maneuvering abilities to win dogfights both inside and outside of the visual range VVR. Its planned retirement was postponed in light of China's military modernization and the debut of its fifth-generation stealth fighter, the Chengdu G-20 Mighty Dragon. The Lockheed Martin-designed Raptor entered service in 1997, with the last 200 and one of the approximately 187 jets delivered. But it also has a number of issues, such as poor radar, a lack of an infrared search and track, IRST, expensive maintenance and life cycle support, a lack of a helmet-mounted display, HMD, and a persistently peeling stealth paint coating. Additionally, some military aviation aficionados think stealth is overvalued because it can be defeated by near-peer foes with networked assets that have caught up to the United States in terms of technology. It was just recently this year that a program was launched to integrate an IRST into it. Additionally, the F-22 is not the only defensive platform that U.S. lawmakers have pushed for the U.S. military to keep employing. Other assets that the U.S. military believes are unnecessary in a contemporary conventional conflict scenario include the MQ-9 Reaper Armed Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, UAV, five littoral combat ships, LCS, and A-10 Thunderbolts. The defense companies, factories, and assembly lines located in their constituents have eco-political stakes, which contributes to some of the pushback from Congress. Voter backlash and widespread unemployment would result from divesting these platforms in an economy that is already predicted to enter an unprecedented recession. In January of this year, a program to put an IRST on the F-22A Raptor got underway. Another project involves getting the jet ready for the AIM-260 Beyond Visual Range BVR, missile, which is still under development and is predicted to have a range of 300 kilometers like the Chinese PL-15. The Raptor Agile Capability Release, RACFAR, as it is often known, aims to keep the Raptor updated until the NGAD enlists in the service. Hunter claims that the time spent on the Raptor may be spent in other places. The concern I have would be our ability to deliver on a collaborative combat aircraft system to complement NGAD. He was quoted as saying by Defense News. I believe that's where the effects first become apparent. It would restrict our capacity to commit personnel and assets to a determined attempt to deploy that capability. On the margins of the Life Cycle Industry Days Conference, Hunter made the comment to the media. The other unmanned aircraft that will be a part of the manned-unmanned teaming swarm managed by the NGAD is referred to as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA, and they have a variety of roles and sizes. One of Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall's major priorities is the program. For the CCA project, the USAF has sought $51.5 million in fiscal 2023. 
Hunter adds that despite the availability of more cash, it would be difficult to carry out both the F-22 upkeep and the CCA due to industrial, supply chain, and human limitations. Twelve Raptors arrived in central Poland earlier this month amid mounting concerns about a potential Russian-NATO conflict and the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Together with the F-35 deployed by other European nations and Gen 4 Plus Plus fighters like the Eurofighter Typhoon, they would be essential in attaining air superiority over Russia's Su-57 and Su-35S. Even while the F-35 will be in charge of the air war in China, the J-20 and Su-35S will also be a major threat. Despite the U.S. is likely to lose a naval conflict due to the numerous logistical problems in the Western Pacific that its military chiefs have acknowledged, it has a good chance of seriously harming the People's Liberation Army Air Force, but it will still be a tactical, political, and military failure. With this, we conclude our video. We appreciate you helping us keep it going by watching. The best way to support our channel is to watch another episode. Thank you for tuning in. To ensure that you never miss an episode, please subscribe to the channel.